kind of an update video. I have several things to go over with y'all. A lot of things were supposed to be um, vlogs, but they just didn't work out. And I'm going to go over those things for y'all. But before I mention anything, I want to say that I'm working on the sound in my room. My room, for some reason, is extremely loud. Like, with your normal ears, I don't really hear anything. But my camera picks up things I can't hear. Like, for instance, it's picking up my fan on my laptop, so it's turned off right now. It picks up my air purifier. It picks up my ceiling fan. And then the background and the videos are extremely loud. I'm going to be doing, like, this DIY kind of, like, um, furry thing on the microphone top to see if that helps. But... I don't really know what else I can do. My, like, you know, I just, I film and I edit in a noisy environment. And I really apologize about that because I can't really do too much about it. So since my cystoscopy, I've been having a flare every day. There has been one day this week that I did not get a flare, but every other day I have had a flare. So I was going to do it. I was going to see him anyway, but I'm seeing my urogynecologist on, on the 28th. I will be, just be mentioning that to him and see what he says. Hopefully there's something we can do about it because I obviously don't really enjoy flares. Recently my insurance changed, I've mentioned it a few times, but they assigned me to somebody they told me was a GP and I ended up going and seeing her intending to vlog it. Um, but she was actually just a nurse practitioner and um, showing her my big binder of medical stuff. This is just one of many. Sorry my chair. Um, she was overwhelmed and wouldn't even come in the room and she told me you need to go and see somebody else because I can't even help you. She can't, she basically can just give me a few medications. She can't really like refer me over to anybody. So it was kind of a waste and I didn't vlog it because I'm like, well we came here and nothing happened. Bye. And it just, yeah. So, you <laughs> know. So I went to the hospital yesterday. I still have the band on. I wanted to cut it off for you. Excuse my chair, it's like really old, but yay for getting out of the hospital. I went to the hospital because I woke up at night and um, I told my mom I couldn't breathe, so she got my pulse oximeter and checked my oxygen. <laughs> and it was really low. I think it was like 74 or something. It was low. She was concerned. So we went to the hospital <laughs> and they checked my, um, no. They did a bunch of blood work and they found out that there was something that looked like there could possibly be a blood clot. And so they had to do an x-ray on my chest and a CT scan. And those came back pause and those came back like negative or anything, thankfully. I did find out that there is a very unpleasant um, side effect to having contrast dye. I've had it several times, but uh, I was kind of upset that the nurse or anybody else for that matter didn't mention that this could happen because during the little circle donut machine, which is a CT scan, um, I started feeling like I was peeing myself and it felt weird, like in a way that was just not normal. And I got, I got scared. And the next thing you know, my um, IV that they had in me just started leaking. And when the guy was putting it in there, he had to hit you do it twice because the first time when he did it in there, my arm just kind of like bled and didn't go through the tube that he put in and went through just the hole in my arm or something. It was weird. And anyway, when I started feeling this water leaking down on me, I thought I was bleeding everywhere. So I flipped out in the machine thinking there was blood everywhere and I messed up the, bit, the ending of it. Um, by talking and freaking out and so I was kind of upset that they didn't mention that something like that could happen You know even if it's a fluke thing if you're gonna do an expensive machine that you can't talk through you they need to be The person that's in, being in the sh machine needs to know everything that could happen So that was fun I guess to find out um I did actually pee myself by the way that was thankful I wore diapers at that moment. I was really thankful. Mm. No. Ah! So I want to mention some of my. T I want to mention some things about my ticks. I have. Mm. I've noticed that I have had new ticks recently. I have a banging tick that makes me bang on um anything basically, and it has to happen three times. I have uh, my clapping tick has kind of escalated a little bit, um to the point where excuse my. <laughs> yep, it did. Um, to the point where my phone is extra extra cracked if you can see right there It's like raised up because it got dropped from a, <laughs> a Clapping tick along with the banging tick. I also have a tick where I'm hitting my head now 
and it doesn't happen very often it kind of it's kind of like my um clapping tick my clapping tick only happened a little bit when it first started and now it seems to be escalating so i'm worried that that one might be escalating because i've actually scratched my face because of that one so <laughs> along with the tick not feeling good banging your head doesn't feel very good i think i'm gonna be seeing my um the tick specialist pretty soon because we've been waiting for a while i think it's in october i believe so it's getting there we're getting there before I go, I want to say thank you to all my recent subscribers. Um, YouTube kind of has this like milestone thing where every 100 you, or every 100 subscribers is a milestone, and so I just reached my next milestone, which was 1,300, and so my next one will be 1,400. And eventually, once I get past a certain number, I won't. I'll just like say something when I hit a thousand, or I don't know. But um, I just want to say that I'm really thankful for y'all. Y'all are amazing. Um, my cam my camera's memory card got full, so I had to delete something, so if it's moved, I apologize. And so I just want to say thank y'all. I'm super, super, like, stoked. Um, every time it, I get more subscribers, I'm kind of shocked. I Thank you for wanting to follow my journey, and, you know, thank you for wanting to support each other. Y'all are amazing. I was really worried that nobody was going to believe me when I started my YouTube channel, but I was going to do it anyway because we need to spread awareness for, you know, the period of time that you're not diagnosed because it's a big period of time for a lot of people and I just want to say that I appreciate y'all and for the people that like make it to the end of my videos y'all are amazing um you know all of y'all are amazing and um I have a lot of I have some videos that are going to be coming out soon I'm working on like making them um one of them will be about autism another one will be about sex and IC and um I think I'm going to be making an atheist video also I'm going to have like a playlist eventually that's called something like Cat Topics with a K, not a C, because um, that's how I spell my nickname. But um, it'll just kind of be videos that are not chronic illness related. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I want to have, I want to kind of branch out a little bit. I was planning to do that a while ago, and I finally figured out how I'm going to do it. I didn't know if I was going to make another channel, but I think I just want to keep it on the same channel. Um, I think it'd be easier that way and just have a specific playlist that I add those videos onto. So I don't know exactly when this is going to happen, but I'm super, I'm super excited about it. So I just want to say thank you for choosing to stay alive. Y'all are amazing. I love y'all. Have a nice day. Bye.